Well, hello, friends. Happy New Year. It's Pastor Eric here. It is Friday, January 8th, and we are in 2021. Hard to believe that uh, we are now in a new year. Uh, it's, 2020 was <laughs> quite the year and quite the long year. I think we are all relieved to have it in our rearview mirror. Um, but uh, as nice as it is, as it is to be out of that year and into a new year, uh, we obviously know that this new year will not be without its flaws, will not be perfect, um, and we've already seen that <laughs> right out of the gates. Uh, six days in, uh, we had the crazy scene in Washington, D.C. on uh, Wednesday with um, our president inciting an insurrection by his followers um, during the process of counting the electoral votes and just a, a wild scene, a, a scene that uh, was shocking to see and yet uh, honestly I will say not surprising uh, given uh, just the climate and given um, what we've seen throughout the recent years but um, nevertheless re really just a, a sad and somber day I think to see that kind of a scene here in America which uh, we just we never see, and uh, and it was, I think, for all of us, was really just it was hard to watch, um, but uh, also encouraging. I, I was really encouraged that uh, members of Congress reconvened later that night and and went early into the hours of the morning to complete the process, to complete the work, uh, to maintain our democracy, uh, which is vital to the the health and the vitality of America. And so uh, I was encouraged by that. Uh, again, however you voted, uh, I hope you were encouraged by that to see that um, attacks against our democracy uh, failed and uh, the kind of the spirit of America persevered. And so that was encouraging to see. But nonetheless, uh, kind of a <laughs> right out of the gates in 2021, just a, a crazy scene. And uh, kind of just felt like a, a carryover from 2020. And so, you know, as we look ahead to this new year, um, I, I it's easy to be filled with kind of worry and dread and concern <laughs> given everything that happened in the past year. Uh, and then, like I say, just this thing right out of the gates. Um, but the, the thing I just want to encourage us all to have above anything else is hope. Uh, that is, hope is really vital <laughs> to human beings. Uh, without hope, we just fall into despair and we ultimately just give up. Uh, hope is what keeps us going. It's what's kept people going in just the worst possible situations from uh, those in concentration camps during the Holocaust to uh, people who have, you know, prisoners of war, uh, for example, uh, just people enduring persecution for their faith, all these kinds of things. Uh, it's hope that allows them to persevere and to, uh, for so many who are able to uh, come through it, uh, it's because they didn't give up hope. And so I think that's vital for us as human beings is to, to maintain hope in the midst of difficult times. But for Christians, it's especially important uh, to to maintain that hope. Uh, it really should define us. I always love that. Um, just the scripture is just really clear on on the fact that um, we are to be people of of hope. That really should define us. That that uh, we have this great hope in Jesus Christ, and uh, that. Um, we need to be ready to to share that at any time. First uh, Peter three fifteen. Again, I've shared this other times. I, I've really, I think I did in my annual report maybe too that it's become a, or actually I think it was in my newsletter maybe, but um, just a, a a verse that's become really meaningful to me this year in particular is this: um, always be ready. Uh, to give the reason for the hope we have. Always be prepared uh, to give a reason for the hope that you have uh, to every, anyone who asks. And I think that's such a powerful verse that uh, we have this hope in Jesus Christ. And we're told by scripture to be ready that, that 
that's really a great form of evangelism that um, rather than having to, um, you know, kind of stand on a street corner or seek people out to, to say that, uh, which some can do and that's fine, um, but that just being ready that when people come to you and if they see something different in you, especially in times like this, if you're not just given into despair, but you're maintaining hope that that will catch people's attention and then they'll come and they'll want to know what is it about you? How are you able to have hope? And, and then the word there, be pre always be prepared uh, to give an answer for the hope that we have um, to share. That's that opportunity, that open door to share your faith in Jesus Christ. Uh, so I love that verse and I think it's so vital for this time. Uh, but there's another one, as I was thinking, been reflecting a lot over these past couple days, uh, since Wednesday, and, and that whole scene that unfolded, and, you know, so much of that is about this sense of, uh, I think, despair that, you know, the other party is, is going to be taking over control, and so uh, coming into power, and so then there's this sense that, well, we have to... Uh, kind of this last ditch effort to try to undermine <laughs> our election and our democracy to try to, to change things or to say that, uh, you know, everything has uh, been, uh, there's been all this um, shady business <laughs> when uh, the facts have, have proven the, the opposite. And so uh, when it comes to the election, and so I think so much of that comes down to this piece of hope that, that, people are putting their hope in the wrong place and in the wrong person. Uh, and that can be true on both sides of the aisle, um, that whether it's uh, your party is, is moving out of power and you're feeling hopeless or your party is coming into power and you're feeling hopeful. Um, again, those are fine to feel um, on the one hand and natural to feel. At the same time, as Christians, uh, we can have our... Uh, party affiliations, we can have our our preferences of candidates, all those things, and, and be hopeful about that. But we always want to make sure, again, that our ultimate allegiance isn't to uh, just a political party. Uh, again, we should, <laughs> we definitely should have uh, greater allegiance to country over party. But even greater than our allegiance to our country is our allegiance to the kingdom of God. Uh, we are again, uh, foreigners in this land, in this world, and, and we belong to the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Jesus Christ. And so that should trump all other allegiances that we might have. Uh, a great verse or a few verses that I just want to lift up as we think about, again, that, that scene on Wednesday, and I think it was about, uh, you know, we're losing hope. And like I say, it's last ditch effort to try to reclaim it and and it's like, yeah, but that's going after the wrong thing. And in a lot of ways, that becomes idolatry. We are to put our hope in God alone. Psalm 62, 5 through 8. Psalm 62, 5 through 8 says this, I depend on God alone. I put my hope in him. He alone protects and saves me. He is my defender, and I shall never be defeated. My salvation and honor depend on God. He is my strong protector. He is my shelter. Trust in God at all times, my people. Tell him all your troubles, for he is our refuge. Uh, depend on God alone. Put your hope in him. I mean, that's just such a, a timely word uh, for really the start of any new year, which I think should be marked by hope. I, I, I encourage you to, to be hopeful for the year ahead um, and not fall into despair. Um, but especially, I think, in this time when we're still in the midst of this pandemic with this transition of power coming up on January 20th with the inauguration, now that all the election results are, are finalized. And, and again, whether you're feeling hopeless at this time with these things or feeling hopeful as you look with the vaccines out and starting to be distributed and all, again, it's fair to feel those emotions and those feelings, but be reminded that our ultimate hope is in God alone and not in all these things of the world. If that's where we place our hope, uh, we'll ultimately be disappointed. We'll ultimately be let down. And, and our hope then is, is 
is really is so dependent on the circumstances around us or on who is currently in power, but that changes every four years or can, right? Or at least every eight years. And so there's this, if that's where your hope is fixed, there's going to be this constant upheaval uh, or just uncertainty about you know, kind of this roller coaster ride of, well, now I'm hopeful, now I'm hopeless. If our hope is in God alone, our hope is in Jesus Christ, uh, he is steadfast, he is unchanging. And um, then we, we don't have to be on this roller coaster. We can just be steady uh, because he is constant. And so that's what I encourage you with uh, as we move into this new year, as we continue to move through this pandemic, as we prepare for this transition of power within our nation, um, regardless of all the things swirling around us and all those circumstances, place your hope in God alone and trust him. Uh, and I believe this new year will be, I believe it'll be better than 2020. I don't see how it could be worse. Uh, even with that little uh, that thing out of the gates, I still feel like it's going to be a better year. But, but what will truly make it a better year is if we fix our eyes on, on Jesus Christ and if we place our hope in him and our trust in him, uh, then, then we will have that, that peace and that joy and that hope that, that can't be shaken because uh, he is our strong tower, our fortress, our refuge, and uh, we'll be able to move through this year uh, with, with hope and, and in a really positive way. And then again, that opportunity, always being prepared to give an answer for the hope you have when people ask, uh, if we go through this year with just really being people of hope and peace and joy, uh, then when that's going to stand out and people are going to ask and we're going to have all these opportunities, I believe, to share our faith in Jesus Christ. So I just want to encourage you with that word today. And again, I'm, I'm glad to be uh, back connecting with these videos. I'm going to plan on doing them every Friday again. I've just I've missed doing them. I enjoy doing them and. Uh, I, I hope that you find value in them. Uh, and then for Sunday, we'll be, I'll be looking forward to uh, being back. Pastor Dave's preaching this Sunday. And um, yeah, if you're in person, look forward to seeing you there. If you're continuing to worship from home, uh, we'll look forward to connecting with you through uh, the, the live stream or through the uh, video whenever you're able to watch it. So uh, God bless you, friends. And uh, I hope that uh, again, this can be a, a year uh, of great joy and peace and, above all, hope.